happy Wednesday guys oh you know what that means Wednesday hit his heirloom seed company day but hold up I was kind of thinking for a minute maybe we'd change things up just a wee little bit today so as you know for the past few Wednesdays what's it been now like eight or nine seven I think it's only been seven but we have gone into the bins of seeds. We have picked a seed company that we have recently purchased seeds from and we've told you all about them. So by now you guys have spent a lot of money on seeds. Or at least me and some of these companies really hope so. You might be thinking, Josh, I can't do it anymore. I cannot buy any more seeds. You are so good at selling seeds to me that it so hard for me to avoid it I can not barely watch these videos any longer that's good we're gonna change it up today we're gonna let you allot that money to something else to make you feel a little bit better about the money you're spending this year all right so this is gonna fit in with the seeds guys uh, we're not doing the seed company today you could put your pennies away maybe you can save a little bit I know you guys got a lot of seeds like I do you know I got a couple little trays out here and that's just a wee part of it <laughs> oh man so today we're gonna talk about heirloom tools now there's not necessarily anything actually called heirloom tools uh, there are tools that are uh, designed in an older time uh, and then I'm looking at these tools that I'm going to show you as a heirloom type tool and the fact that you'll be able to buy this tool and use it your entire lifetime and if you so choose you could take this tool and pass it down to the next generation of gardeners in your life and then they can continue passing it down and that's how it becomes an heirloom tool so if you guys are like me, you have a lot of different garden tools. Maybe you got a drawer full of them somewhere. And if you're anything like I am, you also have a ton of tools that are not very useful. Uh, you buy them with hopes that, oh, hey, I need a spade, I need a fork. And then you get to using them and you realize, you know, a few you know months or uses in that these tools are just not very good quality they're falling apart the handles are coming loose maybe they're just bending all together and I, we're not the only ones who realize this there is a guy that was out in california named bob and he started this little company called the red pig garden tools now guys red pig garden tools look at that logo how could you not want to buy that, right? That's a great logo. So a long time ago, like the 80s, Bob noticed that the tools were declining in quality and that's when he started this company. And he had a uh, idea in his mind that he was gonna go get the highest quality tools he could have made. So he found a blacksmith and he had these tools hand forged and he would handle them and finish them and mail them out to you guys. And then one day, as he was doing this years into it, the blacksmith told him, listen, if you're gonna keep making these tools, you're gonna have to find somebody to do it because I'm about to retire. Oh my goodness, could you imagine that? But what happened was Bob learned how to be a blacksmith from this guy and then Bob continued on hand forging these tools in the good old US of A. I mean, isn't that just an awesome story? The guy had a vision, a dream. He started a company. Uh, he was outsourcing the work. And then one day, uh, after being told that he might not have the person be doing what he wants to do, he took it upon himself to learn how to do what he had to do. And now he hand forges all of these. Well, maybe not him personally. I think it's down to his nephew or something it's in the family still a family owned company who's making these tools been hand forging tools for 30 40 years now isn't that just awesome so these are hand forged out in Oregon guys and they're right here in the USA man you can't go wrong with that uh, if you really have a lot of pride you like good quality tools this is the company and they're being made locally here in our country. So it's like a win-win for everyone involved there. The, the reason I got turned on to these guys was from uh, Patty over at the Tinkerer's Wife. Uh, we were talking about garden tools. I made her buy that Hori Hori. If you guys have all seen my, my talk about the Hori Hori. And then she introduced me actually in her video about it to some of these tools that she bought. And she bought these Red Pig garden tools. And I 
was blown away when I saw the quality in the video that she made. And I was like, I have to get some of those. So I went to the website, ordered myself a garden fork and a little three inch trowel. Now, Red Pig Garden Tools, they are the only company in the entire country who are hand forging hand garden tools nobody else is doing it this is the only place to get this kind of quality you're not going to get it anywhere else i promise you so on the website there's all sorts of different there's a lot of little cultivators digging tools there are some harvesting tools they even have fireplace kits if you're looking for something like that they have all sorts of tools and a lot of these tools are vintage in where they came from so came from like japanese gardening designs passed on down from generations they've done some of these and they've also made some original tools of their own all sorts of different weeders out there if you've ever seen the uh the long pole with the little circle on the end of it it kind of looks like that <laughs> that is a, a little weeder they make one of those i got one of those on the way that's kind of my next one i got that and i also got a uh dirt scoop i guess i guess you call it i can't remember the exact name but it's like a dirt scoop so you know when you have your pot and bench like what we got here and you lay all your dirt out you're spotting all your stuff up and you get dirt all over the place and you try to scoop it up but normally you got like a shovel or some kind of scoop with a round bottom. Well, that round bottom leaves it really hard to scoop up every last thing. Uh, the, what they make is they make a scoop that has a flat bottom. So it goes right across your surface as you're scooping dirt into it. Perfect design. So those are two that I have come in to me. They're not here yet. Uh, maybe we'll do a review of all the tools throughout the summer just to show you how I, I've been using them and they work. But I did get these last year and I used the snot out of them. You can already see they got some uh, some, some love to them. Uh, I got really uh, digging with these and I'm I, I just very impressive. I'm going to show you. Look at how thick that handle is on that. There is no bending or give at all to that whatsoever uh, no matter what you do you're not going to be able to bend that same with this hand fork you can see that just beautifully crafted look at those sharp as all get out you can look at the side of that 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 is a really really nice trowel uh, they have these awesome, beautiful wood handles. They're very comfortable. The grip hold on to. They got a rivet pin in there that hand forged, put in there. All right, so if you guys are in the market for a really, really good, sturdy, strong uh, garden tools, hand tools, I'm really, really hoping you guys will go check these guys out. Uh, these are not the cheapest things. I'm going to be up front with you right now. You can buy a $10 shovel from Walmart, and then next summer you can buy another $10, and then the summer after that you can buy another $10 shovel, or you can buy this one time for 30 bucks, and you will never be happier. Sometimes when it comes to really good high quality tools, you do have to pay a price for them. And it may sting up front, but when you go over the lifetime that you're going to use this tool, it's going to equal pennies pennies per use uh, it's going to be very very well worth it all right so let's give a little talk of the website you guys know i like to talk about the website they kind of tell the whole story about how the whole company started uh, i would suggest reading it because it's just very very cool story on how it started you can go down their tabs you can check out their cultivators they got digging tools harvesting tools hoes rakes you know what they even sell a bunch of t-shirts and hats if you want to get yourself a t-shirt to show your pride for your new american hand forged tool you just bought oh there's some really awesome good hose like i said this the the quality of the tools on here are beyond anything you're ever going to find in any gardening store or big box store uh, and these are just made with absolute love by hand, you know that you're getting the best quality there is.
the website is definitely easy to go through, find all the different tools, kind of what you're looking for. You can order. Some tools come with longer options for handles, which is pretty nice if you are somebody who maybe has a little trouble bending over, something like that. You need to reach a little bit further. You can get a longer handle on a lot of the different tools that they have. Woo! Well, I hope I didn't disappoint you guys too much this week. I know uh, you guys been giving me awesome feedback about the seed uh, heirloom seed company spotlight series which thank you so much for watching it and going out and actually buying seeds i've seen a lot of people who have mentioned that they bought seeds from places which just really makes me pumped and excited so hopefully now we can see these guys get a little bit of love this week that would be perfect and uh it's beautiful it's starting to get spring outside you can see a lot of sun behind me it's actually like 60 degrees in the greenhouse uh, I probably would be outside, uh, but it's a little bit chillier out there and I'm getting over a cold. So, <laughs> but that is the Red Pig Garden Tool Company. These are the best tools in all of America. Uh, just trust me, they are. I scoured the internet looking for anything that would be close to these and there's nothing. So go get yourself some good tools to plant all those seeds I've been making you buy. And then next week when you tune back in, I'll show you even more seed companies. If there's anything else you guys have interest in knowing, let me know. Maybe there's another uh, avenue that we could explore and do some other kind of uh, coverage in this series. Something that might tie into seeds and planting and all that good stuff. But that's the video for today. I will see you guys as always in the very next video. And remember, be bold and grow bold. All right. See you guys.